All right, guys. So uh, this is the first episode of Isaac the Barber. In this episode, I'm gonna show everyone how I do my promotions, how I take my videos. I'm gonna show you my tools, my clippers. Um, it's just basically gonna be a station tour. Everything that I use with every client, uh, as soon as they walk in to when they walk out, every single step, all the tools that I use in, in my station and the way it looks and the chair and everything. All right. So right now, I'm gonna take you guys to the barber studio. And then I'm going to show you guys uh, the station. Alright y'all, so we're right now at the shop and this is basically the station and it's going to be a tour of my tools and how I record my videos and stuff like that. So like right this. Uh this is where I use my enhancements so I just, I basically just use the, the kiss and then I just dip it inside like halfway. And then the rest, I just put some alcohol on top of it. And then I just mix it up with something that I have a, like a little stick or something. I, I usually use a, with the same one I put the enhancements, I just go like that. And then right here, I have these little fans just so it won't get too hot with my uh, clients so they can be comfortable. I have my, uh, my at right here. I have this, this little gorilla that it's just a little stat too, but honestly, it just represents a lot. Right here I have some of my tools that I use. This one I don't use that often, honestly. I have the gel, which I use. This one I use as well. I use this one uh, after every haircut. You should use this after every haircut because some people get rashes after the haircuts or they get some red spots. Uh, the hairspray, I use it basically when I'm doing my lineups or when I'm doing some design so the hair won't move and it won't slip with the clipper. I have my uh, alcohol. I have my, uh, this is the styling powder. I got the clipper oil just for maintainment of the clipper oil. Make sure you use it uh, after, before and every, uh, after every haircut. I have uh, the shaving gel right here. I have just the water just to put it on the hair of the clients. I got the powder. I got this one so I could just put it in on the, uh, on the on this one so I just go like that just I just do it once and then I just go like that I shake it sometimes because if not your client's gonna get all white around his face and then after that I just use it so the hairs can slip out of his face I have the uh, the pomade uh, this is one of my clippers this is the wall detailer I use it for designs I use it for uh, lineups uh, basically when it's thick hair I use it uh, because it helps me a lot for that. And then right here I have the rest of my tools. I have my guards. And then right here I have the one of my clippers. This is the Wall Seniors. Um, they're, they're all zero gapped as well. I have the uh, Magic Clip. This is my first clipper, my uh, all around clipper. This one as well. I use this one on like kind of like thick hair because I feel like it has more power. And this one, see a difference. So yeah, I, us I uh, usually use this one and after it runs out I just use this one. Because the battery is a little messed up on this one. And then I have the uh, this one, I use it for a design sometimes on small corners. I use it for lineups, I have the graphite blade with it, which is a fine tooth. So it helps me, it, it catches the really thin hairs. I have my, uh, anti uh, I'm sorry, my... <laughs> Babylon shavers. Uh, I got this, uh, the blade holder. I like this one because it helps you with the designs. It's not really, it doesn't really bother you. I used to use this one before, but it used to bother me because on the on some areas, it was really uncomfortable. 
So I just bought this one off of Ryan Uncut. And uh, it, it, it honestly helps me a lot. And then I got uh, some of the brushes. I usually use this one. I bought this one after, so I usually don't use it because I just like to use my tools after they don't even work anymore. So I just use the new ones. This one, I just use it uh, to take out the hairs off the clippers. Make sure you do that after every client because if you don't do it, uh, you're going to have all the hairs and it looks really unprofessional. Uh, I have my cheers. Uh, I have these. These, I use it mostly for uh, to blend the hair or to detail the hair. Uh, I use these as well. Uh, these, I use them to cut off the top. They're a little bit sharper than the other ones. And then uh, right here, I have other stuff like extras, which is like combs. Uh, I have my enhancement card right here. I have the brush for the enhancements. I have for the, uh, just to, just extras over here. I have these ones for like lineups and other stuff. They help you so you, you can make the lineup straighter. And then right here on this one, I have just stuff like I basically use personally, like I have my charger, I have these ones for the uh, enhancements before I was using it as well, I have this one for personal use, I have the enhancements uh, tools that I use to put the enhancements, and then on this one, I don't think I have anything on this one, I don't think I have anything on this one either. Alright, so right here, as soon as I walk to the shop, I just put uh, my backpack here, I put uh, my camera and case right here. And then I have this one right here. This, I use it for a full uh, service. This is a mud scrub mask. It's a level three. It works really well. I have this one, which I usually don't use. I just use it on coarse hair most of the time, which is uh, like a curly spongy type. I have my Barbasol. These ones, I use them. Uh, I put them and then I put the hot towel so it can be a nice shave and it won't leave no rash. I have my Kiss enhancements. Uh, I have some of the gels that I sell and then I have the, the powder which I'm running out. I have uh, the black mask as well for the full service. And then right here I got just some extras as well like some gloves. I got some restocks on the blades. Uh, I just got my cape. I got an extra one just in case. The chargers. I got some chocolate so I can eat or whatever. And then I got the... Uh, the uh, freaking around the neck and then these little fans I got some waters as well usually I bring waters to the shop and I don't even drink them and I leave them here for the rest of the week I got my uh, the mirror I got my oh shoot I got my uh, my ring light so usually when I take some haircuts I usually put the chair like this in the ring light like this. I usually try to do some different uh, styles. So if I'm recording, I could do it like this and then I just record. Uh, most of the time, I usually like to also drop the ring light and put it uh, below the fade because when you do that, uh, it just looks, it the details stand out a little bit more. So I, I go like this sometimes and I just record. I usually use my uh, camera, which is a Canon uh, Rebel T5. And then uh, most of the time I have my ring light a little bit farther because I realized that when I used to have it close, uh, there was like, uh, the light was like, it wasn't letting me really see the blend. So I couldn't really cut hair because there was a white line and it wasn't letting me, uh, as soon as I would turn it off or something, I would see some lines that I wouldn't really see with the light. So I decided to just put it a little bit farther so I could see uh, a little bit better. And then this is the chair that I use at the shop. Uh, usually when the clients come in, I have it all the way down because uh, I realized that when you have the chair a little bit up and they get on top of the chair, uh, they can step on this and this is really weak, so which can mess up the pump. So I usually have it all the way down. And then as soon as they step in, I just put the cape, I put the, uh, I put the tape over here and then I just lift up the, the chair and I start cutting. I usually just put it towards this way so I can just go up and they're looking at me so it won't look like I'm like rejecting them, you know? And then after that I just ask them what they want and then most of the time, usually, I have my clippers the entire time on this mat. The reason, the reason why that is, is because I don't want to dirty this area. So I have everything just like this. I have it all the way here. 
But as soon as I leave the shop, I just clean everything, I disinfect everything, I put it back to where it belongs, and then I just close it and I lock it. That's that's what I do most of the time, just for security of my clippers and stuff like that. And then after I'm done, I just turn off the uh, the uh, the enhancements and then I just blow it out till there's no more. And I usually clean it with uh, rubbing alcohol before I turn it off. And so yeah, that's basically it. That's basically my uh, the station tour, my working area. Uh, right before I leave, I just uh, take everything in the camera, and then during my haircuts, I just take pictures. And then after I'm done, I just transfer it with uh, this small device that I that I just bought. Uh, I transfer it from the camera to my phone. I take the SD card, I put it here, and then I transfer it to my phone, and then I just. As soon as I get home and I have free time, I just check uh, which haircuts I like the most, which ones were, were the most defined. So I just get it, I transfer it, which ones weren't blurry, and I just transfer it to, uh, to my phone. Most of the time I take uh, around 7 pictures, 10 pictures per client. That is because sometimes I'm in a hurry and I realize that I've taken some pictures where they come up blurry and it was a really good uh, haircut. So that's why I take some pictures I like to take my time I like to check different angles different areas use the ring light a lot sometimes it's better if you have it off because for other reasons it's it's really up to you most of the time I use my ring light like this for the pictures because it enhances the picture really well but you can also use it like this it, it, it still works whatever works best for you and then I just have the uh, the money team backpack so as soon as I'm done I just put the camera in the case I put it inside and then I leave the shop, like as of right now, I'm the last one in the shop, there's no one in the shop. So I decided to just shoot this video for you guys and yeah, that's it. So uh, if you like this video, just uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, I have different ideas of different uh, videos. If you guys want to see one of my haircuts, uh, tutorial haircut, whatever it is, just let me know in the comment section.